Hello everyone, welcome to another Solve With Me episode. In this episode, we'll solve this hard level puzzle. It has multiple X-wing patterns, as well as an XY-wing. What's an XY-wing, you ask? Here's a definition I pulled up using Mother Google. An XY-wing is a group of three cells, one sharing a unit, meaning a row, column, or block, with the other two, each having only two candidates. There's a little more to it than that, but when we get to it in the puzzle, I'll explain it in more detail. So let's get started on this puzzle. Here you can see the puzzle set up, and because I want to illustrate both X-wings and XY-wings, I'm going to use the auto candidate mode. So now we have all the candidates filled in, and let's see what we have here. Okay, right away we can see that there's a naked single here, the four. And then that eliminates these two fours, and these fours, and also the four down here. So that leaves me with another naked single, and this cell becomes a seven. And now we have another naked single here, the one. So let me get rid of this seven. Now looking across that row, I can spot a hidden single the four. There are no other fours in the row or the column or even the block, so this cell has to be a four. Okay, so now looking at this row across, I see another hidden single, the seven. This row needs a seven, and the only place a seven can go in this row is here. That means I can get rid of the seven here. And now I just spotted another hidden single here. This row needs a seven, and this is the only place a seven can go in this row. Okay, great, what else can I do? This row has three cells remaining, and the two, five, and six are missing, but the five can only go here, so we have another hidden single. And this cell can no longer be a five, so let's get rid of that. And this row has a hidden single here. This cell is the only cell in the row and the column and the block that can be a seven, so it's a seven. And now I see another hidden single here. This cell is the only cell in the row that can be a one, so it's a one. And that means I can get rid of this one and this one. What's making this easier is because I use the autofill candidate mode. If I didn't have that, then I'd have to start with scanning, but this makes it a little bit easier and faster because all of the candidates are already filled in. And now the only place a one can go in column nine is here. Okay, looking across, I see the five can only go here in this row. And now looking around some more, I see we have a nine here and a nine here. So this cell has to be a nine. And so that means I can get rid of these two nines. And look at that, it leaves a naked single here, the five. Which means that this can't be a five. So this has to be the nine. And now looking at block six, because of these two nines and this nine, the only place a nine can go is here. And that eliminates this nine. And now I see a hidden single here in column nine. The six can only go here. So that eliminates this six. Oh, look, I have a two, eight matching pair here. So this cell has to be a five. And that eliminates this five. And now I have another two, eight matching pair here in block three. So this has to be the five. Let's have a look here. This row has a broken triplet, a two, three, eight and a two, three, eight, and then a three, eight. So these three cells are either a two, three, or eight. So then this cell has to be the nine. 
and that leaves a 3 8 here and then the only place a 9 can go in this row is here and looking at this column I see a 2 8 matching pair here so this cell has to be a 3 which means I can eliminate this 3 this 3 and this 3 now let's see what else can I do okay I see a 4 8 matching pair here in block 7 the 4 and the 8 so this cell has to be a 3 and that means I can eliminate this 3 down here and this 3 up here and so now I have a 2 8 matching pair here in block 1 so this cell has to be the 3 and that means I can eliminate this 3 so now this 2 8 pair is also locked into column 1 so there can't be any more 2's or 6's in this column so I can eliminate this 2 6 and this 2 and this column column 2 is already done so where in column 3 can we place a 2 or a 6 well the 2 can go either here here or here but the 6 can only go here so this has to be the 6 and then we have a 2 8 matching pair so this has to be the 4 I love those matching pairs and now we can eliminate this 4 so this has to be an 8 and now we can eliminate all the 8's in the column and the 8's in the row and that leaves us with a 1 here and then this is a 4 okay let's get rid of this 1 so now the only place a 1 can go in block 5 is here what else here in column 5 we have a 2 6 matching pair so these two cells have to be a 2 and a 6 which means there can't be any other 2's or 6's in the column so I can eliminate this 2 and 6 and the 2 down here and now I see a classic X-wing pattern in this top row the 2 can only go into these two cells right and in this row there can only be a 2 here and here so that means I can eliminate any other 2's in those columns so I can eliminate this 2 uh, but before I do that let's make sure we understand this in the top row we know that one of these two cells is a 2 and we don't know which one but if this one is the 2 then in this row this cell must be the 2 or if in the top row this is the 2 then in this row this cell must be the 2 but either way there can't be any other 2's in either of those columns so I can eliminate this 2 classic X-wing and so now in block 5 the 2 can only go here or here that's called a pointing pair so all the other 2's in the column can be eliminated and that would be this one here okay and now I see another X-wing here in this row we have an 8 here and here and in this row we have an 8 here and here so that forms an X-wing on the 8's and now all the other 8's in the column can be eliminated so I can eliminate this 8 and this 8 okay that was nice oh and now we have an XY wing here see this group of three cells this 3 6 shares the same row with this 3 8 and it shares the same column with this 6 8 so this cell is called the pivot cell the 3 6 has the 3 in common with this cell and the 6 in common with this cell so these two cells are called the wings one is X and one is Y it doesn't really matter which one but these two cells are called the wings since they each share one number with the pivot cell the number they don't share is the 8 
which means one of these wings has to be the eight, depending on whether the pivot cell is a three or a six, but either way, one of the other two cells has to be an eight, which means that any cells that see both of those cells can't be an eight. This cell is in the same column as the three eight, and it's also in the same block as the six eight, so it sees both, and therefore the eight in this cell can be eliminated. I'll make a lesson on this technique with more detail, or you can replay this portion of the video. But this XY wing can be very helpful because now I've eliminated the eight in this cell, and then this cell has to be a three. And from this point, the puzzle starts to unravel. That three that I just placed eliminates this three, and this three, and now this cell has to be an eight. And that eliminates this eight. So now this cell has to be a two. And that means this is an eight, which makes this a two, and this an eight, and then this is a three, and this is a two. You see how that's unraveling? Which makes this an eight, and this a two, then this is a six, this is an eight, six, two, eight, two, eight, two, six, three, six, two, and the puzzle is done. Once we spotted that XY wing, the whole puzzle fell apart. That was fun. I'll post a more complete tutorial with some more examples of XY wings, so please stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.